What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Figure It Out, Out of the Basement's action figure talk show, mostly about the Black Series. Really? True. When you get down to it. True. Today, we've got a ton of news to talk about. The former SDCC exclusives were all revealed. So we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about our disastrous experience with Walmart.com. It's a jam-packed episode. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm Nate, joined with Justin. What's up, guys? And today, we got a package. From good friend of the channel, longtime subscriber at this point, Jeremy, aka Jedi Hunter 83 on Instagram, and his YouTube channel, which he recently started, is called My Figure Culture. He's got some Black Series collection videos up there. And on this side, it says Nate slash Justin. <clears throat> Why'd you write Nate's name first? Why isn't it Justin slash Nate? This is my channel. Out of the basement, open together. Yep. Cute boys. We don't know what this is. We don't. We didn't even know it was coming. I woke up one morning, looked outside, and there was a random package on the ground. And Jeremy was there waiting for you. Yeah. No. Not really. That, that's not true. <laughs> but I want to give this to you. He did, You're the opener. He did not uh, let us know he was sending us anything, so it was a secret. So thank you, Jeremy. It's a nice surprise. And he's helped us out. And I'm sure he's helped a lot of you guys out as well, get some harder-to-find Black Series figures because yep. he's just got great luck. But uh, let's go ahead and open it and see what's inside. All right, so we got some first order wrapping paper. No. <laughs> oh no. And we've got a note. Yeah, I've been waiting for a note. All right, so this says, hopefully, all right, cool. I just wanted to make sure he didn't want us to not read this out loud. Nate and Justin, congrats on 3,000 subscribers. Please enjoy this Black Series mystery box that I put together. Thank you for all the great Black Series content, reviews, and information on the channel. Keep doing what you guys do. May the force be with you, my friends, always. Jedi Hunter 83 Again, his YouTube channel is My Figure Culture. All the best, Jeremy. I won't say his last name. Just in case. Thank you, Jeremy. That's a, a, a first time for a note. I've been waiting for a note. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so <laughs> here we go. Poisons. Oh, shoot. So, we got some... First order wrapping paper, but here we go. Oh man. What is that? I already see some real awesome goodies. Hey! Darth Vader annual, number two. Um, is this the old comic? I think this is the older one from a few years back, but that's pretty awesome. And uh, I see some other ridiculously awesome things in here. So first up, for Justin, we got a loose <laughs> Snow a trooper. Snow trooper. I've been needing another snow trooper because I only had the one. Thank you so much. Nice. Uh oh. Here's another one for you, Justin. Zori <laughs> Bliss. <laughs> good meme. Good meme. I'll take it. I didn't have it before. Nice. And there's a note in there. Don't think about the character. Just enjoy the figure. Cheers. Oh, you also got a little beer glass there. Have one of your characters hold it. That's awesome. I like that. I like that. Zori. All right. <laughs> and oh awesome this is for me this is a custom figure that jeremy Yay! made himself he did a little battle damaged like uh shading i think he used a lighter to do this on the sith jet trooper i'm gonna take this out and put it closer to the camera because it looks awesome check that out it's got some really nice shading on it of course no manual focus, so that probably was just a blurry mess. Well, it is manual focus. Well, no yeah. auto focus. Yes, no auto but focus. Yes. Sweet. That is awesome. It keeps going. Dude, I like this. Okay, it keeps going. Free. Oh, nice. So, also got a beer glass and a <laughs> Captain Phasma's cloth cape, because I was talking to Jeremy and on the Instagram DMs, talking about how oh, I wanted yeah. to swap the cape on the normal Phasma, so... He tore one of his Phasmas up and, I guess, sent me the cape. So thank you, Jeremy. That's nice. really nice. awesome. Now I don't have to buy another Quicksilver Baton Phasma. Super dope. And now, 
Now these last ones are some I saved the best for last here. So Justin, it's a it's an orange line. Whoa! <laughs> and he got one for me too. Orange orange line, orange pauldron, storm trooper, sand trooper. One of That's our dope. favorite figures of all time. One of the best Black Series figures of all time. I actually didn't have this figure. Thank yeah. you, Jeremy. Yeah. Holy shit. You did not have to do this, but... How did is, you have this? It is greatly appreciated. Yeah, that's Two awesome. Them. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, I'll definitely take another one because there is more than one orange pauldron True. in the various scenes. And Man, I'll, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, and I'll take one because I didn't have one, and now I have all the different pauldron... Sand it's troopers, so weird finally. seeing the orange lights. Yeah. Well, that's as, that's as, soon, as soon as I opened the box, that's instantly what I saw. So mm -hmm. thank you so much, dude. That's really awesome. Really appreciate it. That's Yeah, that's crazy. So that was our package from, from Jeremy, a.k.a. Jedi Hunter. Yeah, that's thank awesome. Thank you so thank much. You. Amazing, amazing gifts here. Maybe one day soon, sometime soon, maybe we'll open a P.O. box. If some other people want to send us stuff, Jeremy has my personal address, which I trust him with. <laughs> uh, maybe we do a little P.O. box. I think it could be fun. Yeah, let us know in the comments. We, yeah. should, we should get one. Yeah, if we should look into it. I don't know if they're expensive or not. I really don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. And uh, so let's talk about what happened last week. Specifically last Friday. Of course, you guys saw Justin's video mm -hmm. where he broke down the new wave of Black Series figures, which is a full Clone Wars wave, mm -hmm. all highly desirable figures, mm -hmm. three out of four army builders. Justin, what were they? The Ahsoka Trooper, the 332nd Clone Trooper. On the new body. Yep. New body, new helmet, new paint. Yes. There was the Mando Loyalist, which is basically Bo-Katan's faction of Death Watch that remained loyal to her. And then there's the Mandos that remained loyal to Maul. The, they're called Mandalorian Super Commandos. Yeah. And they have the horns, and that's super dope. Those are the three army builders. And then also there was Ahsoka from... This is all from the Siege of Mandalore arc. Yeah. So... See her season seven look. All mm. amazing looking figures. Oh, yeah. Of course, the pre ordering was a nightmare for a lot of collectors. Mm -hmm. I got extremely lucky and would just happen to look at my phone about 20 minutes early. Mm. And I see the links are live. You can't see what figure you're buying. It all just says action figure Star Wars. Luckily, <laughs> luckily. Yak face doing the Lord's work had links to each one right. using the SKU number. So I had to do that. Had to click on each link, add it to my cart, click on the next link, add it to my cart. Right. I was actually able to get two Maul DeLoreans, two 332nd Troopers, right. Ahsoka Troopers. I got one Mandalorian Loyalist and Ahsoka. So I was able to get all of them yeah pretty easily yeah later in the day i managed to get a mando loyalist yeah which is like the fourth tier there it's like the least desirable figure which i desire it right <laughs> but if i would have had something i know i'm gonna get these right i know i am going to get these because they're also not allegedly actually walmart exclusive right there's yeah. still conflicting information going yeah, there on. are some sources that say it'll be available to other retailers there are some resources or sources that say it'll be available on hasbro pulse later on yeah either way i'm gonna get these figures somehow some way i always find a way i'm True. not worried and now we've got the basement army to do our hunting for us <laughs> get to work yes and <laughs> I just want to touch on something. A lot of people, 99% of the comments were agreeing with me and saying like it was a disaster, but there were some people going, oh, everyone who wanted these should have been able to get these if you were checking throughout the day. Ever have a job? 
Yeah, that is true. Ever have a job? Ever have school? Ever? I mean, not really during COVID, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. There, some people simply can't sit at a computer and refresh it every 10 seconds. Right. So with my periodically checking throughout the day, I did manage to get the Mando Loyalist. But no Ahsoka Trooper or Ahsoka or Maul DeLorean for me. You know, yet. in all honesty, when we look back at the Walmart exclusives, we've had pretty decent luck. The only one we never found was the Mimbin Stormtrooper. But, but we got really, really lucky with I the agree. Shock Trooper. I agree. The sh- we, we've never seen it again. Right. So that's why I say like that still wasn't like really a good job of stocking it. Right. In my opinion, the only place that is really good at stocking their exclusives is Walgreens. Mm-hmm. You know, it does suck. A lot of collectors missed out on them. I agree, Walmart's website's ass. It's a really, really crappy version of Amazon. On, I realize, like, on some products, it'll take you to other websites. Well, right, because they... Like other <clears throat> sellers. They I'm allow like, third-party sellers on Walmart. So, it's stupid. It's... <laughs> It's it's like a crappy Amazon. The website's a nightmare to navigate. When you type in Star Wars Black Series Clone Wars, nothing comes up. Yeah, Black Series Ahsoka. <laughs> My go-to used to just type Black Series Ahsoka and the Ahsoka and the clone would pop up. Now they don't pop up Man. randomly. Like they took them out of the search results. So now every single time I want to check, I have to go to the Yak Face post that has the individual links i'm yeah. like what the hell it's and i hope i'm wrong but we're never gonna see those figures in store i would highly, highly i would guess it. because they're so desirable that we won't unless we're lucky and we get there when it's like still in a box still mm-hmm. on the pallet because these are figures where people when they see a box they're gonna buy the entire case right so yep Super desirable. I hope they're not a Walmart exclusive permanently because I want an army build. Yeah. Then, you know, a couple days passed and Justin, you still haven't found the other three. My pre orders are still in. They're all correct when I click on where it says action (laughs) figure. It takes me to the correct link. Nice. So I think my order's locked in and all good. Um, But yeah, it was still a nightmare. I hate Mm -hmm. Walmart exclusives. I hate exclusives in general, especially ones that sell out instantly. But hopefully Walmart just got the pre-orders first or something. I guess we'll find out come September. Because there's also a ton of other stuff coming out in September. Pretty much what seems to be all of the previously SDCC exclusives. Mm -hmm. A bunch of random different websites announcing these figures right so the first one for you vintage collection fans out there this is from cnet of all of all websites we're getting a hasbro pulse exclusive vintage collection 501st arc trooper pack which comes with echo fives and jesse fives is going to be released uh on his own in a vintage collection wave that's coming out i believe at the end of the year but this set is so awesome yep not a lot of love is usually shown to the vintage collection and that community definitely is hurting when it comes to new and exciting figures but this this is enough to make your black series collector extremely jealous absolutely because these are all three figures i want very badly in the six inch line they come with multiple weapons they come with removable helmets for being a three and three quarter inch figure, the head sculpts actually look really great. Right. I hope we get Black Series versions, six inch scale. And uh, yeah, they just look fantastic. And that's awesome for vintage collection fans out there because you guys needed something new and exciting. Right. And I think this easily does fits that criteria. Mm. And then let's move on to some Black Series news. We... I actually I don't think we touched on this rumor. But Justin, what is the next SDCC exclusive? The Hoth Wampa. As opposed to the Jakku Wampa? Or are we gonna get di- <laughs> different Wampas? I thought that was funny. I don't know if that's a tribute Hoth Wampa to the Kenner package, because the packaging first off, amazing. Absolutely. It's like the classic Kenner packaging. It looks totally nostalgic. Um, 
it looks like you're i just want to display that as like a piece of art they look right. so good right this is just a straight up re-release of the wampa with slightly different paint apps no right. blood on the mouth right no blood on like the bearded area and then the palms are darker they're significantly darker yeah completely different paint for the palms looks to be the same sculpt arm is still removable you can tell just by the promo pictures because the arm that's removable you know doesn't have any of this articulation which it's a cool gimmick mm. but at the same time i'm kind of like mm. i like it i like it yeah and i don't, I don't have a wampa so this is great for me this is 100 percent going to be a purchase uh the packaging looks great the wampa is of course a great figure it looks great mm -hmm. so uh it's a no-brainer for me and need it for my empire display yep if you already had the wampa before i'll say it there's there's no reason to get the new one it's an easy pass yeah unless that's you're, okay unless you really want the packaging right that's gonna be what suckers people in true that's the classic star wars move well we'll yep. just make the package cool and then yep. yeah so I'm super excited to pick this one up. Uh, it's, again, a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. It'll be $29.99, which is fair. A deluxe figure. Although maybe he could have come with maybe some accessories, like a bone or, I don't know, just something. But it's better than paying, like, the $100, $150 that Oof. the Hoth, Luke, and Oof. Wampa set go for right now. So I'll, Absolutely. I'll take this option. Absolutely. So then we also got confirmation of the Galaxy's Edge Target partnership that we reported on a few weeks back. We've got concrete release dates. We've got concrete figures. Photos. Photos. First up, from the Vintage Collection, we've got the Millennium Falcon. Mm -hmm. Looks amazing. It's $400. I'm not buying it. Absolutely. <laughs> but... Comes with Hondo, comes with Chewy, comes with some Porgs, because it's the Smuggler's Run version. Yeah, which it does have the dish. It has both radar dishes. Yeah, so, so if you were worried about that, still have the classic dish on it. Yeah. Uh, we also got confirmation of two more figures coming. We got Captain Cardinal from the Phasma book. He's a First Order trooper, but now he's red and has a cape. He, he looks cool. He, he looks dope. And is the helmet a little different? Possibly? Kind of? No, I think that's the new... It's just the new First Order Stormtrooper mold. The helmet is a little different. Right, that is true. Yeah, I think it... Because it, he has the good elbows. So I imagine it's just the new yep. updated First Order. I'll say it. This is a pass for me. I... It, I don't plan on reading a Captain Phasma book. I'll say it, wasted character. Oh, shit. Uh, we've said this a billion times, it's getting old, but I've soured on the new trilogy stuff. Don't want it. It looks really cool, though. I like red and black. I'm a big fan of red and black, but yeah. I just can't. And all this stuff, well, at least the two Black Series figures went up for pre-order this morning, Tuesday, when we record, figure it out. Sold out instantly. I I was going to pre-order Captain Cardinal because I do really like the design. It's just a red First Order Stormtrooper with the cloth cape. But missed out on it. So, I mean, if I find it in store, cool. If I don't, I won't, I, I won't be too upset. Right. And then we also got DJR3X, which is the robot. From what? I think it's from the ride oh <laughs> it's like a it's like a new new robot character okay. from the ride so yeah it's orange and black and i'm not gonna get it <laughs> yeah this one's a skip <laughs> this one it's just too random it's too i don't want to say too obscure because i love my obscure characters but from a ride of galaxy's edge that i've never been to i it has nothing to do with anything that i've experienced like, I hate to say it, but there's so many more things I'd rather see. I mean, obviously there is. Yeah. It's just, it's kind of random. Easy pass. Yep. If you want it. Cool. More power to you. Yeah. Not interested in the little robot guy, unfortunately. 
But it's still cool that they're releasing these figures. No word on Hondo. Of course. Yeah. The one that I would be interested in. The one that everyone <laughs> is is dying to get a single release of. They're like, oh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> but Captain Cardinal obviously hasn't been released before. So this is a brand new release. They're $24.99 a piece. Ooh. Because they're exclusives, but... Target exclusives, pre-orders already sold out, so you're gonna have to test your luck in store. They'll probably but not if you recheck every five minutes of every day. Well, yeah, true. I've had really good luck with Target exclusives. Typically, it involves asking an employee to go look in the back. But Justin, we've saved the best for last. Why don't you tell us what the final former SDCC exclusive was, which? I will go on record right now. We almost 100% got this right. Right. We were so close. We reported on this a few weeks ago. And it's Return of the Jedi. But wait, it's not relevant. It, it's not 2023. We can't do this. I can't buy it. This no is more. an Endor hero set that comes with Luke, Leia, Han, and Poplu think his little ewok name is yeah it's the ewok that steals the speeder bike right in the one scene and it includes a speeder bike whoa this is going to be 109.99 hasbro pulse exclusive easy easy purchase right that's like a no-brainer to me just with everything that you get the new han i think looks amazing oh yeah it's, you know, classic costume Han, but with a great photoreal head. The elbow articulation. Poncho. Looks new. Hopefully he comes with a poncho, because the only character pictured in the promos with the poncho is Luke. Leia's not wearing her really poncho. really hope Leia has a poncho. And Han doesn't have his coat. Hmm. So I'm hoping those are included. That would really be dumb if they just give one poncho to luke and like you have to sw either pick him or leia to wear the poncho although you know the helmet speeder bike helmets come removable at least on luke so you know that the i assume the jedi knight body is underneath the throne room version without the tunic fingers crossed i'm hoping it's just a two for one special because also han luke and leia are all rumored to be a part of wave 27 which is coming right. early next year, middle of next year. You know, everything's getting delayed right now, so who knows for sure. Absolutely. But, so we know they're at least getting single releases. No word on, on Pop Lou. But, you know, they're not going to release the speeder bike. Probably in any other set anytime soon. Maybe for the 40th, they'll do a re-release of speeder bike mm -hmm. with a scout trooper. Right. But until that time... This is probably easily one of the cheapest ways to get another speeder bike. Absolutely. And four <laughs> figures. Right. Four figures that four look figures great. Four figures and a speeder bike. Luke, Luke's photo reel does look pretty good. It's not bad. The new Leia figure is a new sculpt. For sure, she's got the new knees. The single jointed knees with like the flap covering it. Right. I hope her helmet is removable, although I'm kind of suspecting it's not going to be. Which, you know, if it if it comes down to it and it only comes with one poncho, I'll probably put the poncho on Leia. I'd agree with that. And and turn Luke into throne room Luke mm -hmm. with a great photo reel head. Pop Lou also looks amazing. It looks cute. Yep. And comes fun the spear thing. Fun fact was played by Kenny Baker, R two himself. Wow. So there you go. Rest Still in peace. Yep, rest in peace. Still no Wicket. And my favorite part about this reveal was that it was re revealed by Yahoo.com. <laughs> your number one source for all action figure related news. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. This just, this is easily the best thing that we've talked about so far. Yep, that's why I saved it for last. Yep. The box that it comes with just looks great. Yeah, it's kind of, it's like we're gonna have the, a great time. The trees zooming by, so this is an easy pickup. Again, Hasbro Pulse exclusive. These all go up for pre-order in September. Dude, thank goodness. 
Yeah. Hasbro Pulse. Let's do more of that. Yeah. Let's do more of Hasbro Pulse. Ordering stuff from Hasbro Pulse <laughs> is not that hard. You know, when they had, for instance, Han Solo and Carbonite right here available, I went to the website, clicked pre-order, put in my card information, checked out. Me too. As simple as no website failing to load, no unlabeled no, item. having to use a third party to yeah. find the links to find the figures. You just, what do I do? Yeah, you just went to the front page and went, oh, there's Han Solo pre-order. <laughs> and then you called it a day. And you know this will be just as simple. So yeah. So it'll be fine. I'm totally excited. Of course, where's Wicket? We're going to start the hashtag, where's Wicket? Oh, it, but, I'm not worried yeah, in the slightest. Wicket's coming. Wicket is 100% They're probably gonna coming. They're probably going to do a Wicket and Low Gray 2-pack. And Give we'll us all, all the fine. Ewoks. Yeah. Keep the, them coming. We need the chief. He should come with his chair. Give us uh, another scout trooper. Give us some instruments. <laughs> I can't wait to pose the an storm e trooper. Yeah, I can't moments. wait to... I'm, I totally am going to pose. <laughs> like an oddly dark moment. <laughs> right. <in Return laughs> <of the Jedi. sighs> There's just a slew of dead bodies somewhere. Yep. They gather them all up. There's just a giant pile of dead stormtroopers and the ewoks that weirds me out took their helmets to to play them as drums yeah it's a really awesome set it's a no-brainer mm -hmm. and uh i can't wait to hopefully be able to easily pre-order most of these and mm -hmm. call it a day and, pa and patiently wait for them to show up at my door because we if these would have been comic-con exclusives guarantee it would have been a nightmare Oh, absolutely. And we would have had to kiss all of these exclusives goodbye. But now that all the stock is probably going to be on Hasbro Pulse instead of some at the show, and then a little bit on Hasbro Pulse, chances should be pretty good. So we had some really low lows this week, starting out with the whole Clone Wars pre-order debacle. But then Hasbro just knows how to make us feel better. And they're like, look at all this other new <laughs> stuff. What did you guys think of all of these reveals? Did you have some decent luck snagging some of the Clone Wars figures? Let's talk in the comments down below. Of course, what do you think about the uh, Target partnership? Yeah, that's all we got for you this week. So let us know what you guys thought. Of course, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. We're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series on the channel. As long as some other, as well as some other things. True. I like to throw in a little McFarlane every once in a while. Yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. See you guys later. We'll see you guys next time on Figure It Out.